Hey guys, let's talk favorites. Yeah, we have got some favorites for uh, February, ugh, February to show you. Um, I have a decent mix of drugstore, in fact, mostly drugstore stuff, and I think like three different high-end products. So I'd love to tell you about them because I just basically, when I do favorites, pick up the things that I've been using the most for the month. Um, this month I've been using for a couple weeks now uh, the Chopping Block 12 products, but there are a lot of products that I just can't help but keep grabbing uh, regardless and mixing in with those products. So first up is a lipstick and this is a Rimmel lipstick and it's a Moisture Renew lipstick. I really like that line of lipsticks from them and the uh, I have a couple favorite colors, Violet Pop, um, what's another one? There's there's a couple, but this one is a new favorite. Um, it's called As You Want Victoria. It's number 560, and it's gorgeous. Gorgeous! This is my second one. Uh, it's really, really pretty. Um, I, I thought I'd show you the other one because the other one's kind of busted up, so I thought I'd show you the nicer one. Uh, <laughs> I'll swatch it for you. And uh, I thought these this was like a limited line uh, from fall of 2013 but it's not so this is everywhere this is wherever you can find i see i've seen it at cvs walmart everywhere this is just a gorgeous color i'll include the blog post below so you can see it on my lips it's just a beautiful pink and it's just so bright and beautiful i love it i can't help but wear you know wear it all the time and uh, i got a backup of it because i just didn't want it because i thought it was a limited edition product but it's not you'll see it at the store all right next this is from milani and i gotta tell you you, I come back to this time and time again. Uh, it's just such a good eye primer. It's Milani's eyeshadow primer. And if you haven't tried this, definitely consider it. I know you might be finishing up, you know, a Too Faced Shadow Insurance or something like that, but this is really a inexpensive primer, eyeshadow primer, worth trying. I mean, I know you've heard that before. There are a lot that I've tried before and not really liked. Um, there's a L'Oreal one that I tried and I just really didn't like it. This is just amazing and it's about six bucks, six, maybe seven dollars, depending on where you get it. And uh, it's just everything it says on the tube. It's a lightweight, invisible finish uh, primer that works on all skin tones. And it's just really good. Now, I don't have particularly oily lids. Hey, baby. You hear me talking about oily lids and you, you decide to chime in. Um, but I, I don't have particularly oily lids, so I can't speak to it as far as that. I have pretty average lids, but this is just a really, really great inexpensive primer out there. I like the Wet n Wild one, but I do like this one more. So definitely check that out when you finish, you know, whatever you're using. Or if you're in the market for something and you don't want to spend, you know, some of these primer, eyeshadow primers, like I have some that are like 19 bucks and that kind of thing, but I always go back to that one. That's what makes it so good. Another Rimmel product, and let me just tell you, Rimmel is just on fire lately. I am in love with them. I wish they made face products for me. Uh, but I keep on pulling out and use like every day this Stay Matte Primer from them. This is a recent release. I had it in the chopping block and told you I loved it. Can't wait till summer comes to check it out. Um, this is a face primer that is just really, really good. And like it says on its label, you can use this alone or over makeup. Uh, under makeup is how I choose to use it. But I have gone out on days, you know, I'm not wearing makeup. I just put it on. It's, you know, even with my deeper skin tone, it doesn't show up on me. Um, you know, it's not like a white cast on my face, so I can use it like that. I will put it on, put on a little powder maybe, and be out the door. Put it on by itself and be out the door. Um, right now, it's under my makeup. I put it on after, um, or before I start, you know, in with the foundation. So it's just a really, really good face primer, and I have that oily T-zone, and I don't have to worry about it. Uh, the true test will be, you know, Ju July <laughs> and August will be the true test, but I really think this is going to be fine until then. I don't know what's going to happen then because uh, that's when my face goes into overdrive, my T-zone. But I just really love this and I think everybody that has, you know, a T-zone issue or oily skin should definitely try it. You're very interested in the makeup today, aren't you? All right, this is another product that I tried out and I just can't stop using. It's the LA Girl Pro Concealer. These are really good. There's so many colors. A lot of people told me they got these at their local beauty supply. I got mine at Cherry Culture. I got three colors. This is the one I use the most. It's called Fawn. And Fawn is just a really, really nice color um, that really, really works for my under eye area. So you squeeze it and a little comes out 
and I'll swatch it for you. But yeah, I love this. This dries super, super fast. Uh, these LA Girl concealers dry super, super fast, so you have to work quickly. I do one eye at a time, usually, because it dries pretty, pretty fast. I mean, I could probably get away with doing, two, you know, putting some on under each eye and then working it in. Uh, but yeah, I just really, really love them. I love the consistency. It does, like I said, dry very fast, but I just love the consistency and how the color stays put and um, is very opaque, which is essential for concealer. Because once I try to use something on a circle, under eye circle, I want it to like obliterate that under eye circle. So I've been using that a lot. It's a really, really good concealer. Um, that's the color I use the most. I do use, if you wanted to get into like contouring and that kind of thing, I could use the other colors. They're very nice as well. All right, these, these are high end, but I am in love with them and there are three of them. These are the, let me see the name again, uh, Lip Maestros, Armani Lip Maestros. I have three colors and I am obsessed with them. These are the first lip colors that I've ever seen. Um, that are truly look like a lip gloss, but they are matte. Um, and you know, a high end matte lip gloss and very, very well done. I mean, these are the best. They don't look super matte. I think that's why I like them. They kind of have a little bit of a satiny finish. I have posts on all three and I will uh, link them below in case you want to see. Now, my favorite red is number 400. And this is just a fantastic red. It is just a true, true red, and you can see right there in the swatch, really, really pretty. And I think they call it the red. <laughs> um, I forget the names of the other ones. Um, like I said, I'll link them below. That was 400, and I'll show you 502. I feel like this is ecstasy or something like that, but maybe I'm wrong. 502 is another favorite, and I really did good picking the colors because I really worked out the, the uh, counter. Because I was like, for 30 something dollars, I'm getting the right colors. There's going to be no mistake. So I really swatched it up at the Armani counter. So right there on the top is number 502. And that's like the pinkest one. Um, it's really, really pretty. Oh, so, so pretty on the lips. Love the way they dry. I said that though, right? The finish, it's really nice. It's not super matte. They stay on your lips so well throughout the day. Uh, 504 is, well, did I say the other one was the pinkest one? No, this is the pinkest one, duh, I got it right. This is the last one I reviewed, 504 is the last one that I posted on, I think I posted on uh, 400 last year. Uh, but yeah, that's 504 on top. Really, really pretty lip colors. Oh, they look so amazing. Always get compliments when I wear them. They're really, really nice. I know they're pricey, but check them out at the counter, and if you're feeling it, get one. All right, this is an inexpensive lip product I've been wearing all month. This is Jordana's Twist and Shine in Honey Love. I love Honey Love. It's such a good color. I think this is a great color for a variety of almost everybody. Well, I don't want to say everybody. Just a lot of skin tones. This is going to be a good fit. Um, Honey Love is a gorgeous color. I love Twist and Shines. They're $2.99. Um, I hope they come out with more colors for us. And this is more of a, you know, when I'm wearing a nice darker eye look, I like wearing Honey Love. If I'm wearing no makeup, I like wearing Honey Love. It just, it really works anytime, anywhere. That's Honey Love. So you can see why that's just, it's not a threatening color. It's a nice kind of color you could wear every day. It's just gorgeous on the lips. And I have very pigmented lips, so it'll look probably different on me than it would on somebody that has less pigmented lips, but it looks just as gorgeous, I feel like. It's something that would work for a lot of skin tones. This is something that I'll tell you, I've been wearing all month in videos, and a lot of you have been saying I've been glowing, all right? And uh, my skin looks really good. You know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. It is the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Power Powder. I've been wearing it. It's the pressed version. It comes loose, too. I've been wearing this for every video all month, and I didn't even clean it up for you because I want you to see how gross it looks, all right? This is not a pretty look. But I'll tell you, you can see the outer edges are discolored. <laughs> That's where I dipped back in it. Uh, yeah, I did. But this just gives you like a glow. And I noticed this, that when I was testing this out, I noticed that it gave me a glow in every video I used it in. Like one time when I was testing this out, I used it for one video and then the next video I didn't use it. And I watched them one after the other, you know, the beginning of one and then the beginning of the other. And I'm like, I look so much better in the one where I use this. I'm always going to use this in videos. So it's really great. It's a setting powder. So I do all of my makeup and then I just, you know, with a big fluffy brush, just you don't need a lot. I just go over my whole face. I think if I use too much, it might show up on me temporarily. Um, 
I just use a big fluffy brush and like, you know, like it's, I am, you know, like car wash, you know, over my face and it just gives a glow. I really, really like it and I've been using it in every video. It's going to be a staple for videos, I can tell you that. Last but not least, I want to tell you about a palette that I think everybody should check out. And I've said it before, but I want to say it again because I've been using this whenever I can all month. It is the Lorac Pro Palette. I love it. Um, it's just one of the best palettes I think that has ever been created. I'll say it. Um, it's gorgeous. One row of mattes, one row of shimmers. This month I've been using a lot more of the shimmers and staying away from the mattes because I love mattes and I know that that's kind of my zone. I was like, let me see what I can do with the shimmers. And I have just really, really enjoyed using the shimmers. Um, there's so many beautiful ones. I think nude and champagne down here at the end are the only new, the only um, shimmers that I haven't used that much. But the rest of these, I've been working out. So I just wanted to see. Like I know I love the mattes, and that's kind of where you know I've always been in love with the palette is the mattes. But I wanted to go ahead and uh, focus on the shimmers, and it's a nice adult grown girl shimmer. I think that's why it works for me. It's not a glittery shimmer, so it really, really works for me. So if this is if you're thinking of investing in a palette and you don't have this, um, this is something to definitely consider. I will link my. Um, swatches below uh, from my blog post you can look at swatches online and you know depending on what your skin tone see some swatches for somebody that is a uh, uh, close to your skin tone and just check it out it really is something that I think um, is a great starting point if you don't have any palettes um, and if you do have a lot of palettes it's something you probably won't need to be talked into you know it won't be too hard to tuck into it so definitely check it out I just think there's a little something for everybody here very very good palette all right guys those are my favorites um, I always love doing favorites thank you so much for joining me and Max and I will talk to you very soon I have a couple videos coming up definitely ready to do uh, the chopping block review video um, within the next couple days that's gonna be great I'm wearing that tangerine blush from makeup forever I'm not gonna say anymore uh, I'm wearing the Anastasia brow I'm not gonna say anymore I'm wearing the NARS palette uh, part couple colors from the NARS palette. I'm not going to say anymore. All right, guys. So I will see you very, very soon. And uh, thanks again for joining me. I think I already said that, but I just want to say it again. Thanks for joining me. There's Max. Say, ma say bye, Max. Max, say bye. Yeah, say bye. Say bye. Say bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.